As it stands right now, between this moment and election day, Donald Trump does not have a single rally, does not have a single event on his schedule, nothing at all. Now, about a week and a half ago, we talked about the fact that Donald Trump's campaign is so low on cash that they have had to not schedule any rallies. And here we are looking at the Trump schedule, realizing, wow, those reports were 100% accurate. This guy has done one rally in the month of March. And he only did that, that one in Ohio, uh, uh, on the, before the primary day, he did that because he didn't have to pay for it. That was actually paid by the Buckeye values political action committee. So Trump got to show up and talk for free, not having to spend his own money to put it on. And the, uh, Trump campaign, uh, at least people close to it have said that putting on these rallies for Trump typically costs at about a minimum of half a million dollars. And considering the fact that in February, Donald Trump only raised seven or he raised 5 million, but he spent 7 million. Yeah. You get the picture pretty quick of why Donald Trump can't afford to put on any of these rallies. And it hasn't gone unnoticed by his competition over at the Biden campaign. Spokesperson for the Biden campaign this week had this to say, we are two weeks into the general election and Donald Trump can't raise money, is hiding at his country club and is letting convicts and conspiracy theorists take over his campaign. That is not a winning strategy. And what I love about this is that president Biden in the last seven days has been to, where's my list here? Uh, Arizona, Nevada, North Carolina, and Texas. Four states. Granted, he's not going to win Texas, but he held multiple events in Texas. So he has been to four states in seven days. What's Trump been doing? He's been on Truth Social. He's been ranting like a lunatic. He's been playing golf, right? He boasted this past weekend that I won the trophy at my own golf resort. And Biden, of course, mocked him on social media for that in between doing events in uh, most of these swing states here. So Biden's out on the campaign trail and we're really not even hearing much about that. What we are hearing though is about Donald Trump's legal problems. We're hearing about what Donald Trump is ranting about on truth social any given day. So Trump is hiding and Biden's out on the campaign trail. And the thing I love the most about it is that back in 2020, granted, obviously he was in the middle of a pandemic. Trump was still out there holding rallies, bringing people in maskless, you know, being super spreader events. And Biden was accused of hiding in his basement, putting out video statements or doing these rallies with sparse attendees, you know, socially distanced and oh, how horrible is that? But he's hiding. We were told Biden is hiding. He's not hiding now. He's out there talking to swing state voters. He's out there touting his infrastructure bill. And what's Trump doing? He's golfing or he's showing up in court for hearings because of all the horrible things he's done, or he's ranting on truth social and watching Fox news. Trump is the one who is hiding now and it's because he's broke. Biden has the money to go out crisscross the country every single week. If he wants to Trump can't do that. He's got no money and he's got no money coming in. So he is in serious trouble and the other side of that too, is that I had said, you know, when this whole story came out, I said, look, listen, Trump not being out there is probably the best thing for him because the more he speaks, the more he's out there in front of people, the less they like him. But Trump hasn't completely disappeared so that people can forget what a lunatic he is. As I said, he is on truth social all day, every day. And he's putting out these idiotic statements. He's putting out these horrible statements and that is still turning voters off. So even when he's not out there speaking to him, he's still doing enough to continue to turn the voters off. So he's got some very real problems. Now I do imagine there will be rallies, right? He's not going to stay off the campaign trail forever. He's going to start putting stuff on his schedule, but I think a lot of it is going to be where other groups, you know, other political action committees are paying for the rallies. You know, another candidate pays for it. He just gets to show up and speak for free. That's probably what we're going to start seeing more of, but then it opens Donald Trump up to like we've seen recently. He can't speak. He can't read off a teleprompter. 
He he's making up words like misinformates and disinformates. So even if he gets back out there on the campaign trail, that's going to end badly for him. Even if he doesn't have to pay for the rallies, he is in a ridiculously horrible position, but it's a position he put himself in because he blew all his campaign cash paying for his ridiculously incompetent lawyers.